Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside, and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. The margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. You got a dream, you got to protect it. You can't do something like a stack when I tell you you can't. That's the fullback, Kirshner. He wants to go get it. There he goes. Here's Kirshner. And Kirshner goes got the angle on the field to the 13th. Don't be afraid to fail. You can't always win, but don't be afraid of making decisions. There is Kirshner, big hole on the left side. You have to believe that something different can happen. He who says he can, and he who says he can't, are both usually right. There he goes. First down and more. Most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it bad, and you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You Most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Slow to get up. Let's watch how it is our light, not our darkness, that must frighten us. Big John right deep down, dig deep down, ask yourselves, who do you want to be? In figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy, no matter how crazy it may sound to the people. Make a choice. Like you just decide what it's gonna be who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. Why not? Why can't I be the MVP of the league? Why can't I be the best player in the league? I don't see why. Why? Why can't I do that? what you are for what you will become most of you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired you quit I don't do well in math you're right you ain't never studied I'm not good in writing because you have never written before talent you have naturally skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft if you are not making someone else's life better then you're wasting your time. Don't cry to give up. Try to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits. And 
not point the finger saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Because every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature. Now. I'm going to show you how great I am. The 17th chapter of St. Luke it is written, The kingdom of God is within man, not one man, nor a group of men, but in all men, in you, you the people have the power. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You the people have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Now, what are you gonna do? We talked about that offensive line. They move these guys out, and John Kirshner gets hit right at the line of scrimmage, but keeps himself going and keeps his legs moving until he's into the end zone. The margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't do it. You want something, go get it. Period. I'm going to show you how great I am. The 17th chapter of St. Luke is written, The kingdom of God is within man, not one man nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Now, what are you going to do? Because limits, like fears, are often just an illusion. Forty-three. Air Force, from a, a turnover standpoint, playing perfect football. Their secondary has picked off three. They haven't gotten to Taylor. Here they come now. A diving catch by Norman Jordan. And what a way to pull in your 20th grab of the day. But Air Force thinks he's short of the first down. I think the officials are going to want to take a look. Well, that was a great catch by Norman Jordan. You cannot say enough about his heart and determination. He's caught 18 balls. That was his 19th reception. And he still might have wound up. Well, he may have wound up short. That's his 20th reception as I'm handed the stat here. But Ken, he could have committed the cardinal sin by not running his pattern deep enough. He did not. And Air Force has the football, and with a minute 27 left, you might say they've got the ball game unless they turn it over. Well, uh, they would have to turn it over at this point and give it to them in order to lose this one. And, of course, big John Kirshner, and I say big, I, I say that relatively, 5'11", 190, our most valuable player. He wins our award, the Vitalis most valuable player, 132 yards rushing up to this point. An Air Force, uh, unless they really pull something bad out of their hat, will have their first bowl victory ever.
This is their first bowl appearance, and they're not going to do anything dangerous. Love is just going to take it to the turf. First bowl appearance since 1971. They are 0-2-1 in bowls. Ken Willard helped North Carolina beat them soundly, 35 to nothing in 1963. I'm glad we didn't play this team. But this team would not quit. They were down 21-14 at halftime. They were down 21-17 at one point. But they've ripped off 19 straight points and lead 36-28 with a minute left, and the clock is ticking. Louthen just goes down. Kirshner covers him. What a duo they have been today. Louthen rushing for 81 yards, throwing for 136 more. But more importantly, the backbreaker, the 46-yard touchdown run on a fourth and one situation. They are your two key players, of course. And what can you say about John Kirshner? I think time and time, the cadets, they're happy. They get a chance to go back to the snowbound north. And, of course, there's Coach Ken Hatfield and his assistants. She has a lot to be proud of in this ball club. This will be the last play of the game. I imagine that Derek Foster in the Colorado Hospital, if he could know what his teammates have done today. They're counting it down. The Air Force Academy has their first bowl victory. The 1982 Hall of Fame Bowl is theirs. 36 to 28 over Vanderbilt. And we'll be back to Birmingham to recap it after this. color in your cheeks Do you ever get that fear that you can't shift the tide that sticks around like summits in your teeth Are there some aces up your sleeve Have you no idea that you're in deep I dreamt about you nearly every night this week How many secrets can you keep Cause there's this tune I found that makes me think of you somehow And I play it on repeat Until I fall asleep Spilling drinks on my settee Do I wanna know If this feeling flows both ways Saying things that you can't say tomorrow day. 